Regardless of the changes in the political landscape, most industry experts agree that the transition from fee-for-service to value-based care is here to stay. The inpatient prospective payment system requires us to rethink and redesign healthcare delivery, focusing on readmissions. Even within the last few years, hospitals have had the opportunity to participate in value-based programs that reimburse on outcomes and improvement to those outcomes. How can a health system leader involve their pharmacies in this? One of the ways your hospital can directly and measurably reduce readmissions is through putting a process in place to ensure the patient properly follows new medication regimens once they leave the hospital. We know that 40% of adverse effects post-discharge are caused by medication-related incidents. Based on our work in the industry, our Transitions of Care team recommends four-step process of medication therapy management to reduce readmissions and ensure the safety of your patients. The first thing is to get a pre-admission medication list from the patient. Many patients come to the hospital without an accurate list of their medications. The pharmacy needs to develop a process to capture all medications that the patient may be taking, including over-the-counter medications. This is primarily done upon admission. This list will be important for discharge planning as the patient becomes ready to leave the facility. Number two, as a patient is being treated within the hospital, you will need to create a process to get the pharmacy involved in pre-discharge planning, including comprehensive medication review. Prior to discharge, it's important for the pharmacist to meet at the bedside with the patient and caregivers to deliver the medications, to discuss medication use in order to improve understanding and compliance. Number three, follow up pharmacist counseling within eight days of discharge. As we all know, patients upon discharge are anxious and they wanna go home. It's important for the patient to get a call from a pharmacist within eight days to make sure they have their medications, they're taking their medications. They can troubleshoot any side effects and address confusion from the medication regimen. The fourth way to reduce readmissions is to make sure patients are getting their refills and that there is a chronic care coordination process set up. If the patient isn't getting their refills, are you following up with the primary physician or the patient's family? In the future, this is going to become increasingly important. Next in the series, we will discuss cost-effective solutions which would support this type of redeployment of hospital pharmacists to patient care. For more information, please email us at acutecarepharmacy at cardinalhealth.com.